love take over Open world closed up Take over, take over, take over Come on. Hi everyone, welcome to your messages We are just going to see what the cards want to reveal today Starting with an oracle deck, which I do not know what the name of it is because I'm traveling and I just grabbed a couple of decks on my way out the door so I could do a reading for you guys. So let's see what messages want to come through. I have meditated and pre-shuffled, so we're going to see what wants to come out. Okay, let's see what we get. Stability, uncertainty, and wisdom. Wow, beautiful. So what's coming through very strongly here is that you have you have gained stability. Um, there has been so many lessons, um, so much uncertainty comes in when we are quickly going through these like three tiers, like initiation and um, uh, apprenticeship and then we come into more and more here's what I'm hearing wisdom the three cards is that you have been through so many lessons and you are feeling uncertain because we all do we all feel um, just doubt and and uncertainty when we're going through trials and when we've asked for healing but the beautiful thing is that it leads us to this wisdom and I'm hearing very strongly that you have come into some sort of wisdom about who you are, what you want, and where you're going. So it feels like there's an in-between right now where one stage of your life has ended, actually. And you can feel in your heart something wonderful and new and exciting is coming. But it's like it's everything you've ever wanted this feeling um, of what's coming in. You don't know what it is yet, but you have a feeling. But the uncertainty is coming from not believing that what you know is true in your heart and what you feel you want, not believing that it's for you, that it's coming to you, that you're worthy of it, that you deserve it. Um, the uncertainty is um, just self-doubt. It's not real. You do have to allow those feelings to come up, but spirit wants you to know that you're stable and that all you've been through, all you've faced, all you've looked at, and there's been a, you have acquired some, some peace, some groundedness, some um, it's like an inner altar has been built within your heart and there is stability there and there is wisdom and you're being asked to just understand that uncertainty is normal and let it go because it's that energy of faith and belief that you are an intelligent wise um, being that has a feeling that it deserves everything it's ever wanted like everything you've ever dreamed of and wished for is what you're feeling you need now um, you're not hurting yourself, you're not hurting anyone else, you just want to live in this, um, this place of stability and certainty and joy and abundance and love. It's coming in for you. And you can let go of the uncertainty because it's all coming in for you. Let's see what the tarot deck reveals. Stability uncertainty 
and wisdom. I just have to say that the uncertainty is very normal and that's what needs to be released. Because there's a knowing that it's time for your wildest dreams to come true, your wildest dreams to come true. But it will never happen if you don't believe it can happen. So that's just a little bit of work that needs to be done. Okay, that flew out. The devil. Huh, that's the uncertainty. Let's see what else we get. The four of wands, the ace of wands, the eight of cups, and the seven of pentacles. Great. Underneath the deck, we have the queen of swords. So um, this is just someone who doesn't mince words, who's extremely certain of herself and she's got this knowing that she knows who she is and her actions and her words all match her thoughts and her and her actions are that of um, she's bold and she's certain and she knows who she is it doesn't matter if anyone else uh, likes her or agrees with her because she knows that her message is clear and she's linked in with the divine. And this is um, what you're gonna need to harness within yourself. Um, respecting, loving and honoring yourself um, enough to be unapologetic. Unapologetic um, in who you are and what you want. And this devil energy is saying, you know, it's just the temptation to doubt yourself and doubt that you you should and can have everything you've ever dreamed of all your wishes um, whatever they are um, you know we, we've been saying it a lot lately where your heart is that is where your treasure lies so there's something in your heart um, that you think you're unworthy of something that you want that you think you don't deserve or can't have and the spirit wants you to know it's baloney it's not true and the only thing that needs to change is the belief that you can't have everything you've ever dreamed of. It's a huge step, but you're ready to take it. Um, it's very simple. <laughs> you're stable, you're wise, and the only thing holding you back from everything you've ever wanted is the voice in your head, head that says you can't have it or can't do it. Because the next card you have is the Four of Wands. You know, it's, it can sometimes represent marriage, um, but the energy of this card is finally all four corners of your world being stable, solid, secure, and just a sigh of relief. This is a celebration. So you do give up your uncertainty. Oh yes, you do. You give up your certainty you decide you are worthy of having all of your biggest wishes and dreams, everything you dreamt of as you've gone through this life. You know, all of our dreams have changed over the years and decades, but whatever they are now, it's been, it's been built in you because you're supposed to have it. You want it because you're supposed to have it. And you know it. There's a fire in your mind now with this Ace of Wands, a fire. It's a new beginning for you of what this represents. The fire represents passion and excitement, but it's in your mind. And when your mind is on fire with something that you love and want, it reflects in the form world. It, it you know, you can co-create with the universe when your mind is linked in with the divine. You know what you want, you know what you deserve. It's coming. It has to be thought of first in the mind for it to trans, for it to come to life here in this world and you're doing it all of your thoughts um, are your creations all of your thoughts are what you are seeing now in this world that you're living you're creating it all with your thoughts so it's time to walk away from the thoughts that say you can't have this or you know everyone else can have it but I'll be fine with a little you know box no, 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 no. The Spirit's saying, think bigger. You know, if you're dreaming of being um, in the mountains with a, a, a guru, or if you're dreaming of playing music on the beach, just think. 
think of your biggest dreams, having children, getting married. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. But you're walking away from the thoughts that say you can't have what you know you want. Don't try to talk yourself out of what you want anymore. Don't make excuses for what you can't have or don't have. Don't. The whole reading is saying you can have it. And the last card here is very important because this guy is looking at all of the things he wants. And he's, with his hand, he is sending love energy, faith, belief. He's got his eyes closed. His intention is to grow these little seeds of what he wants his life to look like. And you're being asked to let go of any thoughts that aren't supporting what you want. Not what other people want for you, not what you are settling for, what you truly want. Just start naming them, okay? I want to own my own house. I want to have a clear mind and be linked in with my source all the time. I would like to be more compassionate. I would like to have animals. I would like to have children. I would like to live X. It doesn't matter what it is. I want a closer relationship with spirit. There's room for everything that you want in this world. It's, it's ever abundant. It's limitless. It's eternal. The spirit world is. This world will die. but. While you're here, it's all used. It's all, it can all be used for your joy, your peace, for love. So you're being asked, the Spirit is asking you to set your love, your thoughts, your intention, your mind, your heart on all the things that you've ever wanted. Focus your love and your faith and your belief in all of the things that make your heart sing and make your life worth living um, to the utmost joy that you can ever imagine. And that is what you will have. You're worthy. Think about it. Think of it and it will show up in your life. Focus on it and it will show up in your life. You're worth it. You're loved and it's coming. I'll see you next time. Let's have a new conversation. I don't want to gawk about it. We're in a new sensation. It brings me to my knees now. It brings me to my knees and how this love comes over.